Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackbird and today I'm going to show you how to use mask paths. So we're going to create things like uh, this where it reveals a line and the line grows along your mask path. So if I look here, I just made a path and then the line just grows along it, which is awesome. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, so the way we're going to start is I'm just going to delete what I had and I'm going to go layer oh, i got to click on my layers panel I always do that layer new solid and we're just going to create any any color you want um, and this is going to be I'm just going to name it I named it reveal. Now come up to your pen tool and make sure you're on your layer here or else it's going to create a shape and just draw what you want here. I'm going to hit enter by accident. I didn't want to do that. Switch to your uh, selection tool to get off of the pen tool. And now we have a motion path. Now it's not closed so it's not a mask it's a path so if we go into mask path there you can this is what it is so let's um, start animating the uh, line to go along it what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to add an effect called a stroke and that is if you type it in here it comes down here under generate or you can go to layer um, I mean effect generate stroke and it creates for you now you want to make sure it's on the path of mask one whatever mask you want to uh, create the stroke on now if you, if you have this uh, if you want to keep the background on then you keep it on original image and you can change the color here so now we have a red you can change the brush size to make it fatter like that I mean the hardness is how uh, crisp your brush is so I'll just show you real quick I mean, more hard is uh, more hard brush is uh, like more crisp edges I guess and then a less hard brush is like more blurry edges obviously you can all animate the opacity and then the start and end is how you animate it moving so if you move the start here it's gonna move like so from the starting point. Now if you move from the end, it's going to move from the end point. So usually you want to use the end point because that's how you really drew it. So hit so keyframe the end point and you can move ahead like three spaces or three uh, three seconds, I mean. Set it back to a hundred. Now we do a RAM preview and you can see it draws on your background now what if you don't want the background like this you can come down to on transparent and now it's on your original background you can also put on reveal original image and it'll use your solid color or whatever image was uh, behind. Now, sometimes you will encounter where the uh, edge of the brush kind of like, or the edge of your stroke kind of like cuts off if you use a big brush size. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Delete that. I'm going to create a new layer. Okay. And I'm going to make this layer a little smaller. 
There we go. I'm just going to make a pen tool on it again. You see I'm getting close to the edge. All right, switch to my selection tool and let's add the, uh, the uh, effect on there. Now if we increase the brush size, seems like I didn't get close enough, there we go. You can see that it's getting cut off down here, down there. That's because your brush size can't go beyond the boundaries of um, whatever you made your path on. So there's a way to get around that a little bit. So you want to use grow bounds. You just type in grow bounds. It'll come up. It's under effect. Oh, always do that. Effect, utility, grow bounds. Now if we increase this, put it at the top. Now with the grow bounds on there, it's not going to work when you have the paint style as reveal original image. So we're going to have to use on transparent or on original image. So if I set this back down to zero where there's nothing and then you can see it's they're cut off. If I move it up, it'll increase the uh, boundary edges. So you can also see that on original image that it goes past, which is uh, nice in case you uh, get some clipping there. So that's pretty. That's how you use that effect and uh, the mask path. So um, that's a very handy looking, cool, neat looking tool use it when you're uh, creating some cool looking motion graphics and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we'll be talking a little bit more about masks